Hey guys, welcome to our FEE3 presentation of Fire Emblem Clash of Fates. This is a uh, up and coming hack by DH Ninja. Uh, unfortunately, he was unable to participate in this commentary with us. However, um, he did talk to me beforehand, and though it didn't work out, uh, I'll try to give as much insight into the game as I possibly can while showing a little sneak preview of it. So to start, we actually have a lot of dialogue, and I'm not going to read off all the dialogue. However, um, I think it's important to know that this hack is based off of League of Legends. Uh, for those who don't know, League of Legends is a very popular game, uh, multiplayer game. Um, it would be rather hard to explain, but there's a lot of different uh, characters involved. There are some OCs, or original characters, also in this game. So for instance, uh, Tekken uh, is in this hack, and he's been featured in a couple other hacks as well. So he's kind of one of DH Ninja's uh, main uh, original characters. So you'll see him throughout uh, various hacks where DH Ninja has participated in, such as Requiem of War or The Last Promise. So there's a bit of dialogue here, and a bunch of characters. Rather unique uh, cast here. Another thing is that this hack is a huge work in progress. Um, so with that being said, um, just you know, keep that in mind and take it for what it is. Uh, a few things might be incomplete. It's going to be hard to avoid everything that's uh, still kind of being worked on. But um, we'll do our best to shell off this hack. Uh, I have played some of it. It's rather nice. And this text uh, does go on for a while. So I've kind of been instructed to just skip over it, um, but as you can see, it has nice custom CG, has some nice custom music, and it has a huge custom map. So this map is absolutely huge. Uh, you can see it has multiple areas of interest, such as villages and houses, mountains, the castle. There's a boss up here named Napa. Sage, bolting, that's going to be a little bit annoying, but we'll live. Argos here. And this, uh, the hack so far does have a solid plot. Uh, it just got started, so obviously uh, it's going to take some time to develop, but there's a lot of character development. And with that, let's get started. So already there's a little bit of plot development with the uh, guy guarding the gate. I think it's also noteworthy that there are multiple tie conversations. And I'm not sure which ones are all complete. Oh, Morgana here is a rather interesting character. Uh, she's of the Fallen Angel class. She uses dark magic. Uh, very powerful, already a high S rank. Uh, I'll go through the characters real quick. This is uh, Lee Sin, a martial artist. Also very solid. Tekken here is very... Um, what's the word? He has a lot of HP and he has some solid defense and resistance. So he's got a lot of survivability. His strength is a little bit lacking, but he does start with the silver axe, and otherwise is a solid character. Ezreal here is our true shot. Uh, he can use magic. He starts with a long uh, range tome, which is pretty nice. And he also has an S rank. The only thing, uh, he has six cons, so that's a little bit depressing, but we'll live. And already these paladins are going to start attacking us. Uh, 
Alright, let's get started beating these guys down. Oh, we do have our sage here, Ryugi. He's got an A in Anima, but only an E in uh, Staves, and he's actually our only healer for now, so we are going to make use of that E in Staves. Uh, there's only one Elixir as well, so we're definitely low on the healing items, so it's important to uh, be cautious with regards to that. I am going to sort of play this chapter a little bit differently and perhaps not as efficiently as I should. Um, I'm just taking a little bit of a different approach as I have already played this before. Riven here is very good. Uh, starts with the Rune Blade, which is a great weapon. And it gives plus three to everything. Animation is still a work in progress. As I said, a lot of the hack is still a work in progress, but we'll live through that. You have to be a little bit careful here of the enemies dealing a lot of damage. Admittedly, I'm not the greatest Fire Emblem player in the world, but once again, I think we'll survive. So yeah, Tekken's uh, lack of strength here is going to hurt him just a little bit. Big sword for axes, big axe for lances. Uh, I'm inclined to do the talk conversation only after I defeat this guy. And you'll see here a custom animation for Morgana. I believe the music is from Shining Force. Don't quote me on that though. So these guys will hit, and they will hit hard. Uh, the attack is a bit more difficult than the average Fire Emblem game. If you're into challenges, uh, it's nice. But it has been nerfed, so it's not sort of impossible, overwhelming, uh, overwhelmingly challenging, which is also nice. Tekken probably could have used a Silver Axe in this case, but uh, a lot of the enemies had swords, so... Already these uh, ballista have great range, uh, so I have to be careful. I'm just going to kind of hide out in this forest and uh, wear these guys down. I want to avoid those ballista because they can definitely uh, snipe some guys, take good chunks of HP off. However, it is noteworthy to mention that they only have um, three uses on each of the ballista. So, we should be okay for now, uh, as long as I keep Morgana out of the way there. She starts with a no surprise to Luna, so she's got a, a great uh, arrangement of items there. Nah, I could use defense. So yeah, this is just another uh, work in progress animation. I'm going to turn off animations for now. Um, we'll get back to it in a little bit once a couple new characters come in. That was an unfortunate miss. I think we'll live though. Let me just snipe him with this guy. That guy's gonna run away, probably, so I'm gonna hit this guy with some thunder. I could beat him here. I guess I have nothing better to do. So 
So yeah, while the attack uh, was intended more for a certain group, um, it's definitely fun regardless. Uh, a lot of effort has been put into the hack and it's still being actively worked on. So while it is, uh, it does have League of Legends characters, I think people can still enjoy it uh, even if they aren't familiar with the characters. Lisa needs a little bit of healing there. Ooh, I was kind of hoping for a critical, but we'll live. So yeah, this is our only healing item available right now, which does increase the difficulty a little bit. Um, makes Ryugi's turns uh, especially important, because you have to decide whether to attack with his uh, powerful tomes, or whether to heal another character, and oftentimes I think you will resort to healing because, as I said, there's not a lot of other options. Oh, missed that talk conversation. That's all right. So yeah, those blists I have uh, some serious range. I suggest t uh, tanking them with Tekken, wearing down the uses. And once they're done, you can move up a little bit. And there we go. Two more characters coming in. <laughs> a little subtle joke in there. But we have two new characters. Shivana, a half-dragon. Ferocious warrior of Demacia. So the class work is a little bit uh, still in progress. In fact, this Fury weapon has some amazing stat boost right now. Um, it's titled the Fury of a Half Dragon, and so also has some amazing weight. Um, but we'll live over that. I mean, he, these generals are rather slow, so we can still manage to double them. I believe the animation is also a work in progress, so I'm not going to quite show that right now. But yeah, a few more events are going to happen, and we're going to progress through the chapter. And you'll see um, there are little mini-bosses uh, set up on the way. Keep things fresh, some villages to meet. And the idea, the general idea behind the hack is a series of large uh, but content-packed maps. So as opposed to, say, a really long hack, uh, it's more of a shorter one, but uh, each map will kind of keep you busy for a while. I mean, I can imagine this chapter uh, definitely taking an hour or so. And it's kind of nice that way, as opposed to, you know, short chapters where you can, you know, perhaps, uh, you know, find shortcuts through them, beat them in three, four turns. Uh, this chapter will, you know, definitely take a, uh, a while. And with that, I think I'm going to call it quits here. So guys, that is a little preview of the up-and-coming hack, Clash of Fates by DH Ninja. You've only seen a little sneak peek of what's to come, but uh, definitely keep your eyes on this hack. It's an interesting one, and hopefully you'll hear more from the creator, DH Ninja, soon. Until next time.